Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be um, more of a, a tutorial video. We're going to do uh, double taps. And also someone suggested to make a um, more of like a, uh, I guess, controller settings video. Um, which I will share both um, camera and controller settings. Um, I'll share that right now, actually. Um, I know the camera settings are already in the Discord, but... If you guys want like a quick video on it, um, here it is now. So this is my camera settings. You can just pause the video real quick. And then this is my controls. You'll probably notice that everything is pretty much all to the left side on the, um, on the slider. Um, I don't really know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but these are just the settings that I'm just used to. And my bindings. Um, these are basic. Um, my boost is on B, but I use some kind of like scuff controller and I have paddles on the back of it. So my back right paddle is the B button at the same time. So I can jump and boost at the same time without fat fingering both A and B at the same time. Um, my power slide and air rolls are both left bumper. Um, obviously this doesn't affect anything because... Um, if I wanted the power slide, that only works on the ground, and if I wanted the air roll, that won't screw up my ground gameplay because I can't air roll on the ground. Um, what's another interesting one that's really kind of, like, out of place? Oh, yeah, um, air roll right. So, as you guys are probably aware, um, I've said in the past that, um, these air roll right stuff, I guess this is called directional air roll? But, um, these are really not that necessary to learn. Um, they're only good for, like, um, half flipping. I only use the RB button to half flip. That's literally it. So, um, I will show you in a second, um, with the tutorial, the, the backboard tutorial. I'll make, I'll, I'll just do a quick, um, half flip for you guys. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it with my settings, um... If I scroll too far down or or too quickly, then you can pause it right when you see a setting. Just pause the video real quick. These are just whatever. These are all just training settings. So I think I covered everything with anything that was interesting um, with gameplay controls. Um, yeah, I just used regular manual air roll. I'm more comfortable with that. Um, so yeah, so let's get into the tutorial now. So double taps are actually... Um, Obviously, they vary in difficulty, but if you want to train it, per se, you can either do, like, a training pack. Um, there's tons of it. Double Tap Playground is a really good one. Um, I used to use this all the time. But, um, what's weird is that, like, I know you guys want a tutorial, but, um, it's not like it takes certain button combinations to do it. You know, it's just, if you know how to challenge the ball or reach the ball in the air, like, if you just know how to go up to the ball like this, you're set. Because look, you boost a little bit to follow the ball and you already hit a double tap. Go into it, boost a little bit, that's it. <laughs> Basically, double taps are just like, how well can you control the ball in the air and then also like, how well you can control your car. That's basically it. It's really um, that simple. You want to hit the ball um, basically, like, it depends on where the ball's going. Like, with this one, I want to hit the ball slightly, like, up again. Or at least um, neutral. I don't want the ball going um, straight down, like, like, here, here, here's a bad example. I don't want the ball being, like, like that. You did kind of get under the ball, like that, and just score it in. I know I'm missing a ton, but uh, you get the point. Um, if you want a good free play training, uh, it's really simple. Just roll the ball up the wall like this. Jump, turn, dodge. And then go for it. <laughs> Or, you know, you just play around with it. Just hit the ball, like, really hard. 
like that and just go for a double tap. What you want to recognize is how the ball is going to hit the ball at the wall. I mean, so right now the ball's going downwards, so I know to anticipate the ball going downwards, so I aim my car um, more lower. So the ball was going neutral. I'm trying to get like a better um, stop here. Like, see how neutral that was? The ball didn't go down, it went kind of back outwards. So, again, the ball's going neutral like that, then the ball is probably not really going to bounce that far down, like super quickly. The ball is bouncing up, then obviously you want to be above the, the ball like that. So, the ball was. Um, let's say up like this, up against the wall, and then be above it, so you meet it up like that. It's kind of like reading like a regular bouncy ball in real life, right? Let's say you're let's say you're uh, you're playing wall ball with yourself, right? You, maybe you, you play tennis and you hit the ball back and forth from you and the wall. You know how to read that, right? Because you know where the ball is gonna bounce, right? It, it's just. I mean, I, I don't want to put anybody down, but it's common sense. <laughs> if you see the ball is going to go, it's going to uh, hit the wall, but it's going in a downward motion as it's going to hit the wall, just go downwards with your car. <laughs> you know? That's all it is. Like, again, I didn't jump for that wall shot there because I knew the ball was going to bounce down anyways. You know? So, again, go, you just go up against the wall like this. Hit the ball hard. Jump after it and then dodge into it. Um, yeah, you'll get a double tap uh, pretty easily. Turn, dodge, downwards, right? So I stay above the ball. You stay above it, but you know the ball is going to go downwards. So you want to be above it just enough to where you can hit the ball down. You know? But just remember that the ball is... is um, it'll go in the direction of where it contacts the wall. If, it's, if it hits the ball going upwards like this, see how the ball bounced up? Same thing. So, the ball is going to go down like this. It goes down. Obviously, the more complicated shots are like the ones where like the ball is maybe coming from the side. And you have to hit the ball. Um, let's see. Let's um, go to double tap playgrounding again. Let's see, what's a... Uh... I mean, these are... These are more challenging. These are just redirects. You gotta redirect these up against the wall. See? I didn't boost as much because I knew the ball was gonna go downwards. So let's watch this again. The ball's going downwards before it hits the ball. It hits the wall, so I knew to stay low uh, to read the shot. I mean, these ones are also just redirects. You gotta hit the ball lightly with these. You don't want to hit the ball too hard. Like that. But you get the point. You, you gotta hit the ball really lightly. This is supposed to be a double tap. This is more like a redirect. More than a double tap, because I can't even get the ball... See, that was more of a neutral shot. Uh, I mean, a neutral angle. Like, this is neutral. See? I didn't... My car didn't fall down or go up a, as, you know... Watch, you, you'll see. See, when the ball hit the wall, it was only going down a little bit of an angle. It was pretty neutral. It wasn't going up or down, so you kind of just stay at the same height as you hit the ball before. Oh, yeah, also... Um, for a half flip. I only use it for... I mean, air roll, I use it for half flipping. So, literally, I cancel it like this with my controller. My overlay should be on, on the screen. So, I backflip, right? And then watch my left joystick. I cancel it. I, I point my joystick upwards. And then after that, I do my air roll. I, I just hold RB. That's it. That's so literally, that's all I use it for. Like, people usually go for aerials like this with the air roll, with the tornado spin. I'm not as comfortable with that. I mean, I'm, I'm okay at it, but I don't use it. People say, oh, it's for precise touches. It's 
literally that that doesn't make sense. Like, look, I'm not even spinning. I'm not even air rolling. Like, that's not precise enough. I mean, <laughs> it's just bullshit, guys. Like, if you're if you're fine just doing shit like this, then that's fine. You know, do whatever is comfortable with you. You don't need to change your settings. If you're already good enough with your settings, then so be it. You know. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it for, um, for this tutorial. Um, I know it was probably all over the place with the double tap, but the double tap is something that's, like, not so much, like, um, oh yeah, press these certain buttons and then you'll hit a double tap. No, it's, once you're good at following the ball around in the air, you'll hit a double tap. It's not that hard. So again, look, just, just follow it. I'm not changing the direction of my, like, of where I'm going in the air. You know, I'm not doing this. Let's say, for example, I'm not, like, I'm not, like, going all over here and shit. You literally just hit the ball. And you just, uh, that was a bad shot, but, um, try again. You just hit the ball, and you just, you just follow it, you know? You don't really need to change the direction of your car that much. Here's a better one, see? Just kind of chill out. Done. <laughs> That's literally it. It's 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 literally easier, like, than you think. And if you look at my controller, I'm not even doing anything. I was just feathering boost the whole time. I was barely moving my car around. So again, like, watch my controller buttons when I do this. Burn, boost, feathering, you know, and just follow it. That's literally it. If it was a little higher, I would have gotten the double tap. This is a little too far away. Actually, no, we're good. See? I, I don't even think I moved my left joystick once to hit that double tap. Look, you just follow it. Maybe a little bit to adjust my car. Just a little bit. You'll learn that Rocket League is a game of, like, small, small precise movements. You don't need a lot of, um, movement. This, you need a movement to adjust yourself. Like, that was a bad setup. You know, but it works. You know, like, this was a bad setup. But I had to tilt to the left. But again, that's all I did. I just moved my joystick to the left and held boost the whole time. But yeah, so that's basically the tutorial. Um, also, the, I guess, a mini half-flip tutorial and the settings video at the same time. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.